All right, we got another old one for you. And this one here is a 1977 pickup truck. You guys see this thing is in phenomenal condition. And this one here is just in for a small spot job. You guys wouldn't believe the condition of this truck. All original. And look at the interior on it. 40,000 original miles on this truck here. And look how nice the bed is on the inside of this old 77. So this one's in here just for one little rough spot they want to fix. All right, so the truck is now over in the paint section of the shop and we have it primed up. We used the 2K urethane after the weld patch was installed. And then we went ahead and did our normal procedure on this repair here. So we are gonna be having to mix up a color that's as close as we can to this here old seafoam green that's on this truck. And it has a two-tone on it. The good part is these old school trucks the two-tone line was covered by the uh, chrome molding on this, but it's amazing to me the condition of the moldings on this truck. So this here panel on the tailgate, I don't think that I've seen a uh, tailgate with this molding on it, and especially being the condition of this molding here. So it's almost amazing to me how nice it is for an old 77 truck. So. Now that we got it in the primer, we're going to go ahead and sand it down normally, and then we'll get into how we're going to do the color on this one. All right, so first thing we'll do is clean it, wipe it off, make sure we get back here. That way the tape will stick to it. Then we'll go ahead and hit it with a guide coat on the actual primer. That way we can see if there's anything that needs to be addressed because we did put in that patch on it. So we'll guide coat it. Then we'll go ahead and run a line of tape on here so that way we don't get any further up here on the front, just in the area that we need to in the lighter color. So, and now we'll go ahead and block it with the Fest tool. All right, now we'll go ahead and we'll hit our area here with 600 grit because we'll be painting pretty much this whole corner. We're not going to really blend it, being that it's just this lower half. And now we'll hit it with our Sky K600 on the edges. And that'll be all, all finished up because we blocked this with a 400 grit. So we don't have to refine it with the DA. And we can move right into our sealer with it. So we're just going to hit the edges quick, blow it off, and we'll be in the booth with it. All right, now that we're in here, we're just gonna run some tape along the edge. We don't have to worry about it because it's covered up. We'll back tape around it and bag the truck. So we're gonna go ahead now and get our color dialed in for the truck. You guys see we're doing two jobs at the same time. All right, so we're gonna start off with the camera, get the camera out, and if you gotta calibrate it, calibrate it. We just calibrated this one here. We'll go ahead and get it turned on, and then we'll shoot the truck and see what we get. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and polish up a spot, and I don't wanna do too much polishing on this truck because this whole truck has this old patina look to it. So. We're gonna take it right in this area here and kind of just blend it in. That way we do not disturb the way that this truck looks, so. All right, so we've got the uh, color picked up and it has picked up a color. It looks like it's in the Rover group. And then we have a seafoam green and a medium green Molly on this. So we'll start out with what we got here and we'll see what we can do with it. All right, so I want to show you guys one thing that we are going to do that the last guy that did this truck did not do. So the uh, owner of the truck had the hood painted, and you guys can see here that he put a gloss on it. So 
To me, if this was my truck, I would want it to be a satin finish to match the uh, original look. That way it kind of blends in with it. So we reached out to him, we told him what we want to do and he agreed he wasn't happy with this being shiny. So we're going to do ours in a satin. That way it blends in nice to the truck and gives it an original look. All right, so let's get this thing out of the booth and then we're gonna uh, get it assembled and we'll show it to you guys all finished up. But check out the interior on this truck. This thing is uh, in such nice condition for a 77. All right, so it's back together. You guys see, we even got the mud flap on it with the original State Farm Insurance sticker on it. And uh, he's got everything back together now. So definitely worked out nice putting the uh, satin clear on it because it's got the same gloss now that it does up here on the top. And now it looks like it wasn't even done. So this here customer is trying to preserve this truck and uh, keep it as original as he can and just trying to keep it alive. So I think we did a nice job. You guys let me know what you think. We uh, did the metal patch and uh, we got it in and out. But I wanted to show you guys this nice truck because this was definitely one you don't see every day in this condition. And I think we did a lot better than the guy that did the hood. To me, that really stands out being too shiny. All right, so that's the 77 pickup. We did a little small rust repair. But I wanted to show it to you guys because I thought it was a cool truck in very, very good condition. So I hope you guys liked it and we'll see you guys on the next one.